Hey friends! So today we're going to be doing a little update on my Indonesian Blue Tongue Skinks enclosure. Um, I'm going to try and snag some like affordable plant options and I'm also probably going to throw away the substrate that he's on right now because I've just noticed it does a terrible job at holding humidity and I already have a hard enough time keeping the humidity up in my room anyway. So based on what other people have said about what the substrate that they use and the little bit of research that I've done to try and improve what I have going on right now, apparently coconut fiber is an amazing substrate, apparently. And since they like to burrow and dig so much, they need a softer substrate that allows them to do that and also a substrate that holds humidity a lot better. And what I have right now does not do that even though I really thought that it would. <laughs> so right now I'm using a mixture of topsoil and repti chip and some sphagnum moss and I really really thought that the repti chip and the sphagnum moss would do really well together in keeping the humidity really high but clearly I was wrong. <laughs> this is what my substrate looks like right now and my goodness I just I I hate it. It's terrible and it's kind of hard it's definitely not like a soft, burrowy substrate that they need. I was just struggling with humidity so bad that this is what I thought would work. As of right now, this is what the enclosure looks like. Um, not my... Not my proudest moment, not gonna lie to you. I absolutely 100% hate it. Hey guys. So, it is a few hours later, and I ended up getting two packages of the 24 quart cocoa fiber, like <laughs> the bricks. And this is how it's looking at the moment. It's just, I mean, what can I say? It's just like dirt soup right now. Um, but I put more bricks in there, so I think it has to be dirt soup for at least another like 20 minutes or so. We'll get there. <laughs> I also bought three more plants. Don't tell my husband, but I bought three more plants. Um, one is for uh, Smeagol's enclosure, and the other two are for Keely's enclosure. I got a fern, and then I got some plant that honestly looks like a succulent, but it's not. Um, and I will actually <laughs> give you guys the plant names when I show them. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna take all of the substrate out and I'm gonna put this nice dirt soup in it. Dirt soup, dirt soup. Hey guys, not gonna lie, I got a little distracted. It's been several hours. Not that it makes a difference to you. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the two plants that I'm gonna put in Keely's enclosure whenever the cocoa fiber dries out eventually. First one is called this variegated teardrop, I believe. The second one I got is a fern. It is a bronze Venus fern. I think that it's um, super pretty, but it is like 10 o'clock, so I'm going to leave the cocoa fiber to dry out overnight because I accidentally put a little bit too much water in it. Um, and then we will move forward with the tank upgrade update tomorrow. Hey guys, <laughs> it is the next day and I took out all of the substrate. I actually have them in, in the hallway there. I've made quite a mess on my floor. Um, it kind of looks like I dumped brownie mix all over the floor. Um, you guys can see that there and there. And I'm still not done, but um, it looks pretty filled in there. I'm kind of happy with it. And um, the texture, by far, is a lot better than what I had. So, there's a plus. <laughs> Yikes. Hi, friends. I forgot to update you guys after I had filled in all of the dirt. Um, so, here is how the enclosure turned out. I installed the UVB on top and the LEDs on top as well for the two plants that I have in there. And already the humidity has gone up like 30%. So this is clearly 
exactly what I wanted and I'm super happy with it. Um, it looks kind of plain right now. I'm going to add more as time goes on, but this is what I have for now um, with the impulse decision that I made. Okay, so here we have it. Um, I'm going to start off with this side. Oh, these are my um, LEDs, by the way. I have them linked on my Amazon uh, storefront if anybody wants to check them out. I also have the Arcadia light on Amazon as well. So, he's in there right now. You guys probably can't even see him because it's dark. So this is what this side looks like. His hide is here. This is something that he likes to climb on. Um, I threw a couple of isopods in here. I don't see them anywhere. So let's hope that they weren't eaten. Okay, I added in this fern. Super happy with it. I hope he doesn't trample it like he does everything else. <laughs> Speaking of. I put this plant in here. He's already started to trample it a little bit, so um, send uh, send prayers for this plant. <laughs> Moving on, this side, this plant is fake. Um, that one is too. Um, he loves this. He crawls through it all the time, so couldn't possibly have taken that out. This is water dish. He took a little swim in it, so it's freaking covered in dirt. But anyway, that is the finished slash updated enclosure. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I know that he likes having plants even though he usually tramples them. But yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not like a huge change or anything, but I know that some people struggle with humidity as well as I do. So I wanted to put this video out so maybe a change in substrate would be good motivation for some of you guys to improve the humidity requirements. Um, I pretty much went from 20% or like 10% at all times and right now it's at 48 because I just opened the door. It was like 52 a minute ago. But yeah, um, and with some regular like misting and maybe like a fogging system, this would absolutely be amazing. And I do highly recommend if you have an Indonesian blue tongue skink like me, cocoa fiber seems to work really well and they're also still able to dig in it because it's really soft. I just wouldn't let it dry up. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, if you guys want to see more, please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm starting to make content a little bit more regularly, so look out for that. Until next time, thank you guys so much for being here. Bye!